Hopefully I'll get lucky and get another person who's alone. La te da te dum. Where's that marker? The corn. Well, people are doing invading over here. Come on. Oh, apparently I found out that those bodies are the ones that scream in the middle of the night. So we've been hearing that screaming. It's coming from the crosses. And it's like, that's weird. I don't understand that. Please don't turbo gank me. Well, sounds like we got a whole bunch of people around. Oh no, that's the screaming from the thing. Ooh. More souls and such. The hell? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Hello? Is he in? Nope, I can't even go in there. So he's somewhere around here. Is he on top somehow? Did he figure out a way to get on top and then he's just gonna wait me out? This stupid fucking bullshit. He figured a way out on top. So it doesn't show it consistently, so you can't like follow it, but it does ping. So we're going to wait for another ping. It's probably going to ping him to the east here. But we're also going to keep an eye out, just in case he, like, sneaks up on us. Okay, now he's north. Where the heck is he? Watch him hit me with like a great arrow and like eat me off the hill, hill because it's funny. And it's like, ugh. He's on the move. But he keeps bringing me back here, so I think he might be on top of the fucking thing. Which is cheating, by the way. Yeah, look at that. He's on the stupid thing. Uh, this is stupid. How did he even get up there? Yeah, I can't call Torrent. No mounted multiplayer. They can't handle it. Coward. What does this do? It goes and grabs another session. That's nice.
This is stupid. Attempts repeat invasion of the last target of war. Yeah, I don't need that. It'll reload stuff. That's what it does. Because that guy's a fucking cheater. He eats pumpkins. Hopefully there'll be a more interesting one on this one. Freaking Creed. Okay, stop it. We're gonna go. Alrighty. We're gonna go up to the Lake Facing Hills. Because our friend O is there. Or hopefully, at least. Oh no, did she leave? Whoop. She left. Where the hell did she go? Nomadic merchant. Blagged. Finger reader crone. White mask of Are. Muriel. Nomadic Merchant. That's Preceptor. That's Ichi. That's Rena. Finger Reader Crone. Hermit Merchant. Damn it. Why is she not here? She just left? Flower head. Raise the rump. Because the girl was there, you see. Men is perverts, but it's okay. Um. So then I guess we go to, to the Rose Church. I'm gonna hope. Hope beyond hope. That he's just gonna go, oh, you invaded three times, that's enough. But we'll see. Take that, you Albanurx. White mask, Vare? Yeah, Vare. Hey, man, what's up? Oh, Lampkin, so pleased you're here. I'm glad that you're enjoying my gift. Okay, so we're good. Mm. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. A knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood. And establish a new dynasty. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, and of course, love. So, 
What do you say, my lambkin? Anoint me. Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. Lord of Blood's favor. For your final trial, soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But I don't have one. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. All right, so the closest one is supposed to be the Church of something. This one, the Church of Inhibition. Remember we got the Maiden's clothes off of this one? It was the Tarnished What's-His-Face. With all the madness weapons. Now we've got it. Bloodied white oath cloth died in Maiden's blood. Fully reddened oath cloth died in a Maiden's blood. Final trial is complete. Luminary Moog is sure to welcome you into his service as a knight who will lay the foundations for his dynasty. For his dynasty. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Dynasty. You see. Ow. I missed him. Ah, I killed you. Completed your final trial, and with this, you are a formal inductee, a knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. Oh no, he's gonna this prick my finger. Noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. Heavens, clench your teeth or something. <laughs> that was cool that it gave you a, a actual, you know, new animation. That was cool. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Pure blood knights medallion. A medal granted by the new Mogwin dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Okay. Let's go read it. I think it's a talisman. We're gonna we're gonna look in key items first. Do, 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 do. Talisman. Pure blood knight. No, it is not. Interesting. Oh. A written request from Mount Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted, Old Knight Istvan. The name you found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Oh no. 
It's like the silent chief. Proof that one is a glorious knight of the new dynasty of Mogwin that the Lord of Blood will inaugurate. Used to be granted audience with Moog, only it is not yet time. For Moog yet slumbers beside divin divinity. Be patient, the new dynasty is nigh. So we don't want to do that quite yet, I don't think. But they put out a contract on him. I'm going to look at the ramifications of such an act. We're not going to do it this session. But what we are going to do is we're going to go through the plateau here, the Altus Plateau, and kind of do stuff. Oh yeah, and there's that dungeon to do, too. I could go do that. But I think I'm gonna go over here and clear this out. Yo, asshole! What's happening? Am I gaining health from hitting them? How am I gaining health from hitting them? Is that a blood thing? But I'm not actually gaining health because I didn't take any damage. Torrent took some, but not me. Did I just make my build broken? Because that'll be hilarious. If I just said, I'm going to do this guy's quest line and it makes me like super awesome. Great shield talisman. It boosts guarding ability. Not very useful to me, but hey, it'll be useful to somebody. Visions of nothing. obviously has something. Whoa! Oh, Shizus. Woof. Yeah, I think I am gaining health from hitting people. No, it doesn't look like I'm gaining health. It's it's doing something else. Cuz my health isn't actually going up. Come on, you. I'm just charging up with blood or something. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's the the extra hits with damage stuff. That's probably it. That's probably it. Hey you.
So it's showing you how long that's active. And it's active like a long freaking time, honestly. Like for me, I would have already turned off the buff because I'm not actively, you know, hitting again and again, right? But that combo can last forever. Look at that. Oh, look, there's an item over here. It's a lightning grease. And then over here, there's an item, hopefully. But there isn't. So we're gonna go look in this carriage right here. Troll's Golden Sword. That's gonna obviously, obviously be a great sword. Troll's Golden Sword. There it is. Sword given to the lesser giants who fought for the Earth Tree during the war against the giants long ago. Though they had lost their minds, they stay inseparable from their swords that are in sad shape, such that the gold plating is flaked away. Trolls roar, and then you get you do a shockwave, and you can slam the armament down with a strong attack. I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Not for me, but you know. I'll probably do a great so a great sword run of this game at some point. I end up going through builds at some point. Or it's like, ah, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Warming stone. Warming stones are actually super cool. Almost OP, but not. Like still pretty balanced, because you gotta stay within a certain area. So like PvP. The objective now becomes pushing you out of that area. Hey, you. Yeah, so my damage quotient went up real big with that talisman. Fan daggers. That'd be fun. Oh, they're, they're consumable. So I could use those. Let's read about them. A set of five throwing daggers bundled together. Concealed weapon cherished by the raptor assassins. The thin knives fan out when thrown, dealing damage to the target. Each knight deals paltry damage, but the wide range makes it suitable for constraining enemies. Hmm. There's probably stuff over there. Ooh, Knight's Cavalry. I'm feeling strong, let's do it. Yo. Owies. Come on. Actually, yeah. Flask of Physic is the next one I'm gonna do. Oh yeah. Cause now I have health regen. Oh yeah. That was bad. I don't know if I feel too powerful for this guy. Whoa. Owies. Fuck.
Oi. Yikes. That worked out well. Gilded foot soldier cap. Fun. I don't think I'm going to be using it, but it's a nice helmet. Oh. Ha ha. Did I get that? Because if not, that's gonna be good. That's a guy with a great bow. I should probably hunt him. Well, I'll just walk. I don't need to ride. I already grabbed it. Well, oh well. Yo, idiots! Owies. Come and get me, boy. Come on. Come on. So the bloody slash has become my, um, my, you're a powerful enemy. Let me just, uh, even the playing field just a little bit. Weapon. It's the weapon that I choose when I go, oh, wow, I'm kind of in over my head. It's the equalizer. Bloody slash in this playthrough will be played by Denzel Washington. And then Queen Latifah for some reason. Yo, assholes! Problem is, I'm not sure where I need to go. Go to this finger with your crown. And then there's a mine over here. A mine! There's a little fort over here and a little tower over there. Oh, come on. Ooh. Was I over here? I think I was. Let's take a look. It's in a book. I certainly haven't been here. 